Hey guys, Nika coming at you with another recipe. This one's actually baking. I don't usually bake, but with the price of eggs, I wanted to show you guys something really cool. And I'll leave a link in the description box below. I'm gonna be baking with this egg replacer. Now this package of egg replacer is about $5. That's the price of a carton of eggs here in New Mexico. And this package was $5, and that will replace 36 eggs. You can make quiche, breads, pancakes, muffins, all kinds of things with this egg replacer, and it has four healthy ingredients in it. I have a link in the description box below that goes through all of the details of egg replacer. This is a really cool thing to know about. It's totally vegan. It uses tapioca flour, and some other healthy ingredients in it. So, let me show you. I got this recipe that I'm gonna make. It's, it's called banana tea bread. And it's a vegan recipe for tea bread, banana bread, and it's totally healthy. It doesn't have much sugar in it. I love this tea bread. It tastes really good, it's really moist. So let me go through this and show you how to make banana tea bread is amazing. This is an amazing recipe. So what you're going to need for this recipe, you know those bananas that you just don't know what to do with? They look kind of like this. You want those because they mash up really good. So what you're going to need for this recipe, you need a cup and a half of whole wheat flour. You can have organic flour if you prefer. You need two teaspoons of egg replacer. You need one teaspoon baking soda, two teaspoons baking powder, two of olive oil, one tablespoon orange juice, four tablespoons of water. You need one teaspoon of vanilla, a half a teaspoon of salt, and some walnuts. Walnuts are optional. I'm putting about a half a cup in there. So what do you do with your old bananas? This is what you do with them. Okay, so this is such an easy recipe and it's so healthy for you. Doesn't have much sugar, it has a little bit of sugar, but I've seen a lot of recipes with more sugar than this. We're gonna combine all the dry ingredients. We're just gonna put that cup and a half of flour. We're gonna put that two, two teaspoons of egg replacer, one teaspoon baking soda, two teaspoons baking powder, and the sugar, half a cup of sugar. All right, and we're just gonna mix these up. Just mix them up with a fork. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mush these bananas. It calls for a cup. I usually put a little more in it. It kind of makes it a little moister. But if you only have one banana, that's fine. That's a cup. I'm putting two in here. My creation, that's what I'm going to do. And you want these bananas soft like this. And we're going to mush these bananas up. Just with a fork. So easy to do. You want to make sure they're mushed before you... This will make it easier if you mush them in a separate bowl to mix with that flour. So see how easy that mushed up? All right. Okay, so see, they were very ripe, so that made that easy. Okay, now we're just gonna add all the ingredients. This is three tablespoons of olive oil, a tablespoon of orange juice, four tablespoons of water. Oh, I didn't put the salt in there. Let's just throw that salt in there. And a teaspoon of vanilla. And we're just gonna mix these up with this fork. And then we're gonna add the bananas in there. Let's just mix those up. So easy, just throw the, literally just throw the ingredients in there. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything special. 
Alright guys, now we're going to add these bananas in here. And mix them up. And now we're going to add the nuts in there. Just throw that half a cup of nuts in there. Keep mixing. You want to mix this up really good. All right, guys. So now we're just going to spray this loaf pan just with some cooking spray so it doesn't stick. How easy is this? And the kids love it. They don't realize how healthy it is for Because there's not a lot of sugar in this recipe. I tend to not eat sugar, so it makes me very susceptible to sugar. I react to sugar. I react to sugar. I don't like it. Not sugar, but there we go. Okay guys, we're going to bake this at 350 degrees for 40 minutes. So guys, when you make your banana bread, to store it, put it in some plastic and it'll moisten up once you put it in some plastic. And just leave it in there. After it cools, I, this has been cooling for about a half hour. And then once you do that, just store it in a plastic bag. And that'll make it moist. Also, you can freeze it. So if you just cut it in pieces like this and put it in some baggies, just like this, you can freeze it. And it'll last for a good month. And then that way it kind of saves your diet. You can just pull out the pieces that you need. So I love this banana bread and it moistens up really good in plastic. That is golden brown. Doesn't that look delicious? Okay guys, time for the taste test. Mm. Perfect. Banana tea bread. Okay, guys, I'll leave the recipe in the description box below. If you have any comments, put them in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.